Hi, everyone. We're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan. And joining us tonight, Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. And reporting from the sidelines, our very own David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Jonas Valanciunas is hitting a lot of threes. So many so that his teammates started calling him Dirk Valanciunas. He says, I'm just taking what's out there. If I have an open shot, I'll take it. If I'm making it, I'll keep taking it. Simple as that. But, guys, you better believe he still can get it done inside as well. Oh, he can, no question. Thanks, David. So here's Oklahoma City's starting group. We've got Williams. Williams is out there with Lou Dort. Then there's Shea Gilgis-Alexander. And it's Giddy in at the two guard. And for the Pelicans, they've got Ingram. C.J. McCollum out there with Josh Richardson. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas, and it's Jones in at the three spot. During the last decade, from 2010 on, Doris, the Thunder had the second most wins in the NBA. It's mind-boggling to consider that. That was clearly during the Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, and James Harden era. The Spurs had the most in that time frame. What that can tell you, though, is small market teams can win in the NBA. And so it's the Thunder getting on the board first. In the corner, it's Richardson. That's good, and it's Ingram with the assist. You have to be prepared to shoot on the catch. Teammate wants to deliver it. You've got to make it. Josh Richardson, deadly. It's Gilgis Alexander with the drive. Some power coming from the PG. Ah, that's right. GA seeing more and more of that these days. Backcourt guys who can elevate. We know versatility is huge in this game. Just a tremendous job finishing that play. Wow. And the way C.J. McCollum Gray can get a shot up while moving, that's a big part of his game, isn't it? Yeah, very few players can shoot as well as McCollum on the run. Applies for his pull-up jumpers or when he's falling out of bounds. McCollum, one of the best in the league at it. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Real good, McCollum. At this point of the year, right before the playoffs, Doris, is anyone really playing at 100%? And is anyone really healthy? Uh, Kevin, it's an interesting question because the 82-game season is a real grind. And inevitably, there's bumps and bruises, sometimes more serious injuries. The key is, can teams find the appropriate balance between being rested and being ready? And some coaches will tell you they'd rather be rested than ready. Now here's McCollum. After the miss from Shea Gilgis-Alexander. The feed to Ingram. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. Boy, that play developed just the way they wanted, and Valanciunas made sure they got the bucket. What a tremendous pass. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. The shot's good from Gilgis Alexander. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. Gets the three-pointer to fall. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. Wow. We are going to remember that one oh, for a while. I know I will, Greg. That, that was special. That was really special. Nice job capturing the moments on the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. McCollum deciding where to go with it from outside the arc. You can't get that one. And Oklahoma City will go with it the other way. Last game matchup with the Suns, a, a tough loss there. Well, when you're facing a team that's feeding off the crowd's energy, you have to bring your A game, and they didn't do that defensively. One thing you know, Greg, is you've got to pack your defense in the suitcase if you're going to win on the road, and they simply did not bring it. And so here's New Orleans, following the score by Oklahoma City. Now Ingram. 
Right now, he averages nearly 23 points a game, a relentless offensive force. And that range makes McCollum hard to defend because if you're too close, you know about his ability to go by you and get to his spots. It's good. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. Ingram against Williams. Now here's Ingram. Guarded closer. McCollum outside for three. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. Well, great decision from Dort. If your teammate is open, get him the basketball. Nicely done. New Orleans has gone three or five from three-point land so far in the ballgame. Got a piece of it. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. And there's the shot to finish it off. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. And we talk about court awareness. There, McCollum doing a beautiful job spotting the open man. Gilgis Alexander, good. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. Ingram against Williams. Now here's Ingram. Tight defense on him. Out again, a Pelican score. And the whole court is open. Ingram. He, he's got the accuracy to hit that from mid-range. Here's Gilgis Alexander, and it's thrown down hard with both hands. And that's a finish he'll be bragging about for a while. <laughs> As he should. Very impressive. How about that from your point guard, gentlemen? Playing big at the rim. Okay. Now, here's Valanciunas. His scoring has been there on a regular basis. He's averaging more than 14 points a game. Here's Ingram. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And it's Oklahoma City the other way. Williams kicks to Giddy. Takes the three. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this one. Pass to Valanciunas. For three, Richardson. Rebound by Williams. And here are the Thunder now. They're on a 17-7 run. Shoots from the corner. And there's another one for the Thunder. Well, Shea Gilgis Alexander is unselfish, and he's got excellent passing skills. Pretty play there. That first time out of the game called for New Orleans. And you know Shea Gilgis Alexander's rise to NBA stardom was meteoric. Well, for me, GA, the more responsibility this guy seems to be given, the better he gets. He's improved every year, and at this point in Shea's career, it looks like his ceiling could be very, very high.
Let's take a look at a very well-rounded group of players, shooting guards who can rebound with the big boys. Number one, Josh Giddy. Well, what he may give away in terms of size to some of the big men down low, no doubt he makes up for it with his agility and determination. That's what allows him to be such an outstanding rebounder. You know, the strength he has is a factor as well. He is sneaky strong for an off guard, and seeing him out muscle a bigger opponent for a rebound is becoming a common sight. Here's Valanciunas. Richardson for three. No good on the shot. And the Thunder with possession. They're on a 19 to 7 run. Giddy, a chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Pelicans trail by nine. McCollum finds Ingram to the inside. Second shot opportunity, and the layup is up and in. Ingram's got six. And here's Williams now. He'll bring it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Here's Kiltis Alexander. And there's another one for the Thunder. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Richardson, the bounce pass. And stolen by Giddy. And now a fast break for the Thunder. Oh, and the jam by Williams. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip. And guys are making their shots. That's critical. Now, here's Richardson. And they get some nice contributions from him on a nightly basis as he averages over 11 points a game. Now to Ingram. And another turnover here by New Orleans. The city ball. We get a break in the action, so let's take a look at the West and how the teams are stacking up. Look at New Orleans. They're 10th in the conference, still looking to claim a spot for the playoffs. And, of course, there's the Thunder. A couple spots below. The Thunder leading by 11. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Driving in. And he slams it down. Right on top of Brandon Ingram. And they have owned the paint so far. And the score reflects it. I know it's early, but you have got to like the dominance down low. Right now, they are playing bully basketball. Here's McCollum, following the score by Oklahoma City. Here's Jones. And terrific work on the offensive glass, and he picks up two. Well, how about the perseverance there, the extra effort on that offensive glass? Here's Williams. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Williams. And the Thunder lead by 13. Moving it around, eight of their last 10 coming off assists. To the paint, here's Valanciunas. Tries again. No good there. Williams with the defensive effort. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through, see if he can get an easy opportunity. And if you look at this first half, overall, they've just had the better shot selection. And I think, obviously, we see the execution and the willingness to make the next pass so important. And so here is New Orleans. The Thunder making the shot. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. This guy is such an attentive defender. Great anticipation by Gilgis Alexander. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. And again, it's Oklahoma City. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stance for the Thunder? They're really bucking things up for the opposition. Racking up steal after steal, just not letting them develop any kind of offensive rhythm. And boy, have they started out quick. Running the floor, taking advantage of their speed. Now a timeout called by New Orleans.
And the Hornets going with a whole new group out there. And with the pause here, how about the stats for Daniels? He's getting around four points a game, three rebounds, and two assists. And it's always nice to be able to bring a shooter like him off the bench. Well, hard to win if you can't get points productivity. And that's what makes this guy valuable to that second unit. Pelicans trailed by 19. A steal. And again, Oklahoma City running the court in transition. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Going right to the rim, which is where you want transition opportunities to end. Here's Alvarado. Looking in his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. Over in the corner, Marshall. And the Pelicans miss again. The Pelicans coming to this one after the win against the Mavericks. Yeah, Torrance shooting in that one. Some of it was good play calling. Some of it was just making tough shots. Well, give credit to a couple of their guys for their complete locked-in nature. They were just focused, and they made everything they looked at. Here's Daniels. The Thunder making the shot. Kicks it to Marshall. They need this. The Thunder pull it in. Here's Robinson Earl. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. New Orleans moving the ball around. Nance a screen. And the Nance and Gideon. Athleticism is insane. The former dunk contest winner looking special. Robinson Earl. Jeremiah. And what a way to start this game, dominating at both ends of the floor. And give them credit for approaching this game with the right energy and intensity. This team has attacked every chance they've gotten. Here's Alvarado. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Takes it inside. Daniels, no good. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. Here's Joe. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. And, and they worked the ball around so well tonight for those quality looks from mid-range. Here's Alvarado. And so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. Pelicans shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. And, and as a unit, they're shooting 78% from the line. That's a solid number to work with on the season. And the technical free throw is good. Alvarado. Over in the corner, Marshall. The pass to Alvarado. Five on the clock. Daniels from outside. It's rebounded by Waters. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Joe, good. And the jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. Here's Alvarado. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And again, New Orleans has no luck. Oklahoma City's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Joe can't get it to go. Now for New Orleans, shooting 39% in the early minutes of this game. Now, here is Murphy. He's covered closely. Three-pointer, Daniels, traps in the train. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Man can hit. Daniels passes to Alvarado. Back to Daniels. Shoot. 
shoots from the elbow. And he hits the jumper for two. Daniels has got his second bucket of the night. I mean, even he was surprised to be that open. Here's Joe. And a miss there on the triple. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Three-pointer, Daniels. And again, New Orleans with the triple. And, and looking a lot better now, but still a long way to go to get back into this one. Yeah, but this run started with tighter execution at both ends, and, and that'll need to be maintained for them to have a chance to take the lead. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Here's Alvarado, and again, New Orleans with the triple. Yeah, and an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Drains it from beyond the arc. Man's got six. Five seconds left here in the opening quarter. The three, Marshall. And that's it for the first quarter. What's well, been a very lopsided game. The Thunder lead by 21. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from New Orleans. scoreboard but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback and guys we've seen the thunder really take control here well look at the turnover ratio that then look at the score easy to see what happened in that first period offensively they took care of the ball and defensively they forced a number of miscues and so it's McCollum he'll bring it up for the Pelicans on the floor for Oklahoma City getting going here in the second quarter Gilgis Alexander out there with Wiggins then there's Sharich, then it's Williams. And it's Dort in at the three slot. Now, here's Dort. Jonas Valanciunas unable to get his shot to go. Wasted no time on that one. He has six. Well, Greg, we see it every year. Those overachieving teams in the NBA. What enables them to be greater than the sum of their parts? Well, listen, luck can play a part, but confidence is a huge factor as well. If you walk into that gym every night believing you'll find a way to win, oftentimes you do. And it's Wiggins with the jam. Shea Gilgis Alexander can score it, so you have to respect it. That sets up his passing game. What a pretty delivery. Now here's McCollum. A 32-point game for him in the win against Dallas. And it was an unselfish night for him as well. He got plenty of assists to go along with all those points. Yeah. Yeah. good. This guy's been adept at finding ways to finish inside. Jonas Valanciunas doesn't miss many of these chances. Given an opportunity, he'll deliver. Three. Unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flames. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. And there's the three-second call. This one on the defense. New Orleans ball! Pelican shooting their fourth shot at the foul line here. Josh Richardson. At the line for one. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. That's good from Richardson. Hard not to root for a guy like Josh Richardson. Remember, he's a former second-round pick, but this guy put the time in the gym. He's an excellent teammate, and now he's a valuable rotation piece and an excellent two-way player. Ingram, he's checked in for the Pelicans. And a switcher also for Oklahoma City. Williams, he's checked in for Sharks. That's phenomenal at realizing when to shoot from that mid-range, with McCollum becoming a master at that mid-range. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks a lot, guys. Josh Giddy has been attracting admirers, including LeBron James. King said he's really, really good. He has a great pace about the game, great vision, 
Josh is one of those kids who can definitely see the game a lot quicker than most guys out on the floor. He's showing it. He's just been playing beautiful basketball. Kevin, that's high praise. It is both amazing passers. David, thank you. Doris, in your opinion, how does Luke Dort stack up with the best undrafted players in the league? Well, I think, Kevin, when you think undrafted, the first guys that come to mind are Fred Van Vliet, who's now an NBA champion, Christian Wood, Seth Curry, who's proven to be such a capable shooter. Those three are clearly, to me, the best undrafted players that come immediately to mind. Oh. Williams. And how about just floating to the rim on that slam? Boy, when he gets up, I mean, he gets up. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. It's Ingram on the wing. Again, a Pelican score. And this is Ingram's attitude. He's ready to fire away as soon as the ball hits his hands. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Again, Oklahoma City. Well, all night he has made an impact at the offensive end. Now he's trying to shut the door. McCollum with the ball. 13 points in the game. That shot misses. Excellent D there from Williams. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. And Torch gets it to go. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Cullen passes to Valanciunas. And here's McCullum. Some stats for him. He averages over 21 points a game. Here's the two drop. He lays it in. McCullum's got 15. And such a clever score. McCollum can unleash the floater, the pull-up. He's got it all. And it's Wiggins missing. He really made that shot harder than it needed to be, and Coach is not happy with that choice. New Orleans moving the ball around. Richardson, good. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Oh! Oh! Gilgis Alexander. Let's remember that at six foot six, Shea Gilgis Alexander can more than handle himself near the cup. For New Orleans, they've gone seven for ten here in the second quarter. They'd like to keep up that nice pace. Knock that bucket in in no time at all. McCollum's got a pair of triples in the second now for the Pelicans. Here's Wiggins. And it comes off the front of the rim. Pelicans trail by 20. Taken away by Williams. Gilgis Alexander with it. Now defended by McCullough. Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander, good. What an aggressive Williams. mindset in this period. He's starting to take over. And so it's Ingram who brings up the ball for the New Orleans Pelicans. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over.
And Oklahoma City making a change here. Giddy's checked in. Here's a look at some of the stats for Brandon Ingram. against Wiggins. Kicks it out to Jones. That falls. Nice feed that time for McCollum. McCollum's got his third assist on the night. It's Gilgis Alexander with the drive. <laughs> the burst of speed from Shea Gilgis Alexander. Put it on the deck. Get to the cup. Dort against Ingram. And a wide open look for McCollum. A three-pointer, no good. The Thunder leading by 21. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Personal foul. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. And Greg Anthony for Shea Gilgis Alexander. Part of a growing trend in this NBA. Giving his team length in the backcourt. He has 6'6 with a 6'11 wingspan. He can see over the top of the defense. He helps you on the glass, and he can switch on to front court players defensively. That's what teams are looking for nowadays. What a promising future for Shea Gilgis Alexander. He's long, he's athletic, he can play the one and the two, and perhaps the most important thing is everyone raves about his character and his coachability. And the basketball McCullough. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and coach knows it. Well, the best players to me deliver night after night after night, so as long as he's hot, Keep riding it. And the one hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Passes it to Valanciunas. He kicks to Ingram. Valanciunas with a screen on George. Five to shoot. Here's Jones. They grab their own miss, and they will get the basket here, folks, as they rule the goaltender. So close to getting the block there. You, you can live with those calls because you'd rather have a guy playing aggressive instead of playing it safe. The Thunder leading by 21. It's Gilgis Alexander with the try. Shea Gilgis Alexander attacking and in rhythm on the offensive end. Now here's Ingram. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Dallas. And let's not forget about the assist. This guy as a playmaker was a driving force for that offense. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it just feels a lot bigger. From deep, Gilgis Alexander. And the Shea Thunder, Gilgis another three. Well, Shea Gilgis Alexander, the rise and fire continuing to evolve as a three-point threat. Pass to Murphy. Ingram against Dort. From 11 feet away. And it's Ingram missing. Oklahoma City's gone 6 of 10 from three-point range, up over 50% for the ball game. From the wing, and that one off the back of the rim and in. Dort's got six here in this quarter. You can just see the development of Lou Dort's game. Gets himself into that in-between area and makes it look easy. Ingram outside, looking to end the run. Marries it from three-point lane. Ingram's got 11 points. And how about the last five made shots? They've all been three. The defense is just giving up a good run. And first time of the game called for Oklahoma City.
to the 2K leaderboard for the real stats, real scores from the real NBA. Here are the team leaders in steals. You need to play these guys heads up. Second, the Pelicans, the Thunder in fourth. And forcing turnovers is a point of pride for both these teams. That's why their steal numbers have been so high. Here's Mann, 14 points from him, the last game against the Suns in Phoenix. Plays it up and banks it in. Mann's got eight points. Boy, that's a backbreaker. Takes it right into the rim and extends their lead. You want to make sure your opponent knows they have absolutely zero chance of a comeback. And nice finish by him. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Leans from outside. Pelicans with the rebound. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. I think expect them to go back to it because that's the kind of shot this offense is designed to generate. Well, what he lacks in size for a typical center, he makes up for with all that athleticism. Boy, can he elevate. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. All right, a chance to check out the stats for Brandon Ings. What a run he's been on over the past few weeks. Putting up about 25 points per game, four assists, and four rebounds. For two, He's been nothing short of fantastic during that stretch. Offense coming very easily for him. And so much of it to me is his ability to read the floor, make the right decision, and then go right after the action he wants. And the first one drops. You know, I think the versatility Sharich provides is big in today's NBA. This guy can play the three and the four. He can shoot from anywhere. He can also hit the glass. Very good passer. There's a lot to his game. And the Pelicans making a change here. Marshall's checked in. Sharich nails them both. The Pelican shooting certainly a key for them in this one. 55% from the field. Now Daniels. He's got eight. Feeds it to Nance. The shot's good on the assist by Daniels. Daniels has got his fourth assist in this one. Boy, if you let Larry Nance Jr. carve out that kind of space, turn the lights out. Here's Robinson Earl. And the basket for the fourth time from the field. He's a healthy four for six. And here are the Pelicans now. Pass to Daniels. And the pass to Alvarado. And another three for New Orleans. And doing a much better job from three-point range than they were in the first. It's going to help them chip away at that lead. Man can hit. So here's Murphy. He's coming off a 16-point game against Dallas. And you know, guys, the other thing I really appreciated about his effort in that game was the effort and work on the glass. What a well-rounded performance. Personal foul. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And high-quality numbers for him all season long. How about 81 from the line? Taking two shots. Shooting two. First one falls for him. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. Here's Giddy. Misses with the tough leaning jump shot. Pelicans trail by 20. Daniels with it. Eight points for him. Pass to Alvarado. Here's Marshall. New Orleans moving the ball around. 
This one for three. Up and in. It's good. First basket of the game for him. One for four shooting. Oh, great ball movement there. And here's Sharnage. He'll bring it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. They're off to San Antonio after this game, bringing their show to the at and Center. That'll be the last game of their very short three-game road tour. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Well, the Thunder are trying to build something that will last. The front office says you stick to your principles, your values, and you think long term. We're focused on building a sustainably great team. We continue to be forward-facing in that respect. Kevin, back to you. It's a good philosophy, and they're not looking for any shortcuts, which is admirable. David, thanks. Pass to Marshall. On the wing, Daniels. Pass to Nance. And the jam by Larry Nance. What I love about Larry Nance Jr. is he doesn't need the ball to be effective, but when he does get the ball, he shoots with high percentage. And Giddy gets it to go. Assist you know, he didn't need the leader with the defense playing off him, but it was sure in his rhythm. Oklahoma City. And Oklahoma City making a change. Joe's checked in. Second team foul. Coming to the floor for the Thunder. Isaiah Joe. 1.16 left here in the second. Here's Alvarado. That shot, no good. And Oklahoma City will go with it the other way. Here's Joe. Rebound by Marshall. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Dishes it to Daniels. That ball. It is missed by Marshall. Daniels has got 11 points. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Here's what Oklahoma City's schedule is looking like. On Sunday, they'll go up against the Spurs in San Antonio. Then on Tuesday, they'll face off against Ben Simmons and the Brooklyn Nets. And if I'm this team, I'm looking at this as a barometer to see how we stack up against some of the top teams in the league. They'll have to be at their best. But if they come out of this with some success, I think it'll build momentum for the rest of the run. First free throw is good. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. And good on the second, so he makes them both. There's 45 seconds left to play in the first half. Down low, and he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. Chemistry between two teammates. Love the passing. Pulls up on the wing. Another shot. And it's good on the way in. Waters got his first bucket in this one. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. Even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. Well, showing a lot more aggressiveness now after making zero trips to the line in the first quarter. Williams, he's checked in for the Thunder. And he makes both free throws. 24 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Here's Joe. Again, Oklahoma City. There's 18 seconds left now here in the second. 
Here's Alvarado. He's got 12. Just beyond the clock. Misses at the rim. Shane Gilchrist Alexander, guys, has been on display for the Thunder. With the points he racked up in, he has broken his season high scoring mark already. We'll return shortly. Welcome. First up, let's look at the two guys who were each leading their respective teams through the first half. You look at this matchup at the point guard position, so much talent in this position in the league. You got your work cut out for you every single night, Ernie. The skill game taking center stage. And now switching gears to our featured game, a phenomenal first half for the Oklahoma City Thunder. They're clearly beating them in transition. It's been all fast breaks, and hey, that's how this roster was built. Every team tries to establish an identity. Theirs is catch me if you can. And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. Excited first half. We'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. You know, Shea Gilgis Alexander has been exceptional here tonight, guys. It's something that isn't his strength, but he's done a great job of finding the open man. Well, what he did was sustain it throughout the first half. He ran the offense to absolute perfection. Jonas Valanciunas is out there with Brandon Ingram. Then there's McCollum. Then it's Jones. And it's Richardson in at the two-guard spot. And that's the group for Willie Green as we begin the second half. Shea Gilgis Alexander. It's just hard to believe that someone can perform at such a high level. They've got to thank him for this lead. McCollum outside. From 12 feet out, again, the Pelican score. I'll tell you, what a night. He has been efficient. He's been strong. Unfortunately, they're still fighting an uphill battle. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Uses both hands to slam it down. Well, just get right up and over the top of the defense. Gilgis Alexander, no doubt. Richardson kicks to McCullough. Goes up on the wing, and he connects with the jumper. McCollum's got 27. Wow, what a start. Three for three, terrific play calling, everything clicking out of the gates here. She gives the team such a great element, having a one guard who can get to the 10. Ah, uh, certainly something every team wants to have. Well, you love it. Fearless, aggressive, leaving no doubt whatsoever. Valanciunas dishes to Ingram. Over Williams. Again, the Pelican score. And still perfect in the second half. Four straight makes. It's Gilgis Alexander with the drive. Shea Gilgis so Alexander. smooth, so pretty off the dribble drive. Shea Gilgis Alexander doing work. 
Two minutes into the second half of play now. Giddy against Richardson. It's McCollum on the wing. Shoots over Dort. And McCollum the bucket on the assist by Richardson. He's got 29 points. Wow, five straight buckets coming out of half. They are rolling. Goes up the baseline, and there's another one for the Thunder. Well, the pull-up jump shot of Josh Giddy is going to be hard to guard, folks. Six foot eight and really long. This team has credited Giddy's background for shaping him as a player. You know, he grew up in a house dominated by basketball. Both his parents played professionally in Australia, and that goes a long way toward developing your basketball IQ. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. When Valanciunas forces the issue like that, he is really tough to handle. He does a good job drawing contact. The Pelicans have been at their finest four at the free throw line tonight. Eight attempts, eight makes. The first one falls. And a bruising, fundamentally sound big man. Valanciunas is a throwback. More importantly, he's willing to play whatever role is asked of him. And so he hits both. Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes played. Here's Giddy. The shot that time, not on target. And New Orleans will go the other way with it. Ingram passes to Richardson. That's good, and it's Ingram with the assist. Richardson's got nine. But Josh Richardson has length. And he's got hops, so on the interior, he can make oh, it. Oh, that was worth <laughs> the price of admission. Oh, he is a highlight reel unto himself, guys. Well, that could be a contender for the dunk of the year, I think. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam King. Pelicans trail by 18. McCollum with the ball. He's picked up by Gilgis Alexander. Giddy against Richardson. McCollum outside. Shot clock at six. Richardson kicks to McCollum. On deep. And another three for New Orleans. Boy, as we reach the latter stages, he's been in a ridiculous groove. They simply can't get over the hump. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. been unstoppable and his sweet shooting stroke places him in the top 15 league wide and three point percentage you've got to play him tight and back to what you said top five in steals this year quick hands and and great anticipation
We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Shoots from 14. Gilgis Alexander, good. Gilgis Alexander's got 58. Boy, every time he goes up now, it just looks like the shot's going in. He's perfect from the field in this quarter. Alajunas sets a screen for Ingram. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Giddy's got rebound number five here tonight. Gilgis Alexander with it. Now defended by McCullough. Gilgis Alexander, good. Wow, what a quick release from Shea Gilgis Alexander. What a pretty pull up. Ingram deciding where to go with it. Charity strike shot. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Ingram's got 15. What a great shooting performance. His percentage is outstanding. Here's Williams. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Gilgis Alexander's got five assists tonight. Pelicans trailed by 19. McCollum outside. And here's Richardson. He's got nine. Alan Judas with a screen on Giddy. Just five to shoot. From 12 feet out. Here's Valanciunas, and the dunk by Valanciunas. Well, I think this is something Jonas Valanciunas has hung his hat on, his ability to consistently get to the offensive window. Nicely done. The shot's good from Gildas Alexander. Slow rotation there defensively, and he gets a wide-open look from mid-range. And I'll tell you, you look up at the scoreboard, that's correct. They have a big lead for a reason. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. 17 points in the game. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're Shit, basically, yeah, as a defender, good. hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Some power coming from the PG. Ah, that's right. GA seeing more and more of that these days. Backcourt guys who can elevate. We know versatility is huge in this game. Just a tremendous job finishing that play. Wow. Here's Dort and Oklahoma City again with the bucks. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. Ingram against Williams, and Jones has it in the corner. Offline with his three. A good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out rebound. Williams gets the bucket. And I really, I want to see more of that from him. I mean, he's been passing up on his shot more than usual, even though he's hitting the ones that he takes. Richardson the pass to Valanciunas. They get a hand on it. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. Wing shot on the way, and Oklahoma City again with the bucket. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Thunder. All game long, they've had active hands and they're really out in the passing lanes. And that aggression on defense has resulted in a ton of steal. And their fast break has also been a key metric in this one. They have had a significant advantage in transition over the course of this game. Williams. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Alan Shunas has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Richardson the pass to McCollum. There's the three. Good on the triple. McCollum's got 38 points. Yeah, that's too good a look to give them from behind the arc. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City.
got a bit of a break now, so here's a look at the league's top scoring teams. Second, the Thunder. And how about the year they've had offensively? This is a team that can put points on the board in a hurry. Always fun to watch them play. The Thunder leading by 19 points. Gilgis Alexander passes to Joe. Here's Robinson Earl. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. New Orleans gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the arc. Here's Daniels. Offline with the baseline jumper. And listen, sometimes even the best of us are going to miss the easiest of opportunities. Here's Sharch. And the rebound goes to Murphy. And here are the Pelicans. Kicks it to Daniels. Makes that one his sixth of the night. Healthy six for nine. Oklahoma City has gone six of ten from three-point range, up over 50% for the ball game. Sharks, that's good. Give Sharks the credit for that. Boy, the defense pretty good. He was just better offensively. Nice job in the contest. The pass to Daniels. Here's Alvarado. Gilgis Alexander covering. Passes to Murphy. Inside, six to shoot. And it's blocked by Gilgis Alexander. Wow, Shake Gilgis Alexander off his feet, sends it back. Joe, Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander on the follow. Gilgis Alexander's got 18 points just in the second half. Oh, hard work and soft hands, guys. That, that's what made that play possible. No simple offensive rebound there. Going for the tip-in. Pass to Alvarado. Al Murphy. There's the triple. Charge grabs the board. Charge has got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Joe. There's the killer two-handed slam. Oh, fellas, that was a vicious two-hand monster slam. Guys, I don't think there was anyone who could have stopped him on that one. Daniels kicks to Murphy. And again, no good by New Orleans. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. Yep, that one goes. I'll tell you, it's one thing to do this at home, another to do it in a hostile environment. Boy, just sheer dominance, the ability to step into enemy territory and flat out take over. This is impressive. They set the screen in, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. The Pelicans have made a mistake at the line yet. Ten of ten. Daniels. Two shots. First one falls for him. Valanciunas, he's checked in for New Orleans. Good on both. The Thunder leading by 23. Here's Joe. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Gilgis Alexander's got his ninth assist in the game now. Pass to Marshall. Kicks it to Murphy. Lock at six. Valanciunas sets a screen for Marshall. Two three-pointers off the mark. 
And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be firmly in the driver's seat. Took him no time at all on that one. Robinson Earl's got 10 points. Yeah, a big part of this run here has been their ability to score from mid-range. Here's Daniels. Charge grabs the board. Charge has got six rebounds here tonight. Shot on the wing. Alan Junis grabs the board. New Orleans gone 3 of 7 from three point range here in quarter number three. On the wing, Daniels. He's got 17 on loads from 13. Out to the right wing. And a wide open look for Valen Junis on the three off target. Now the Thunder with it. They're on an 18 to 7 run. Here's Wiggins, and there's another one for the Thunder. Working against size, he's just crafty enough to carve out some wiggle room. I'll tell you, the analytics crew may not like the mid-range, but sometimes you just got to put it in the basket. And it's blocked by Kilgis Alexander. Here's Joe. Alan Junis grabs the board. Pelican shooting 48% for the field as a team in this third quarter. Murphy passes to Valanciunas. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. 12 points for him. And not relying at all on the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. The Pelican shooting one of the high points for them in this game at 54%. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Marshall. Now Daniels to the middle. Valanciunas. It's rebounded by Robinson Earl. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Personal foul. First team foul. Now into the lineup for the Thunder. Trey Payne. With one on the clock. Oh, and the buzzer, Peter's good. And give him credit. Good awareness of the time remaining. And to me, the way you end quarters impacts how you end the game. It can go a long way between a W or an L. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. Oklahoma City out in front, running away with this one. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from New Orleans. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. So for Oklahoma City right now, they've got Shang and it's Waters in at the two. I'll tell you, that vertical ability he has puts him in select company in NBA power forwards. May not have great size, but boy, he plays bigger than it. McCollum kicks to Hayes. And the rejection by Jang. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Yes, that goes in. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. McCollum with the ball. Last year, as we know, the NBA, Doris named the members of the 75th anniversary team. Any players that were missed that you think should have been on that list? I mean, the one guy that comes to mind immediately is Clay Thompson, who will go down as one of the great shooters in NBA history. The problem for voters, I think, is the challenge of weighing the accomplishments of prior generations with what we are witnessing today. It is a challenging vote. There's no doubt Clay will be top 100 when it comes in 25 years.
shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. A three from McCollum. It's rebounded by Robinson Earl. Robinson Earl's got four rebounds now tonight over Hayes. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. Robinson Earl's got six in the quarter. And so it's McCollum with it. He brings it up for the Pelicans. Hernan Gomez, a screen. Here's Daniels. And they get it. Goes up again. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And this is where Willie is doing his most damage, right? Inside, getting the defender to overcommit. Isn't it great? The NBA is becoming a global product. More games are scheduled overseas. Doris, any locations you'd like to go to call a game? Maybe you and I could do a game in the Bahamas. How, how does that sound? <laughs> <laughs> I love it, Kevin. If they're chipping it up, I'd love to be there. And think about it. Beyond the travel and the opportunity to see the world, the opportunity to expose new fans to this game that we love so much, certainly not something to take lightly. Free throw good, Hernan Gomez. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. Both shots good from the strike. Well, we call this high IQ and good instincts for the game. And these things Willie relies on to succeed at this level. Wasted no time on that one. Getting it done on both ends, and it shows up in the score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. Ron Gomez with a screen on Chang. And it's blocked. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Here's Mann. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. Now shooting five for eight. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm. And you can see how they're finishing their plays. Well, what great game planning. What great execution. It doesn't get much better than this. On the wing, Daniels. Brennan Gomez a screen. Takes a shot at the elbow. And he converts the layup. And Gomez has got four points this quarter. I'll tell you, you have to have a nose for the ball. Picking up points on the offensive glass, that is the relentlessness Willie is known for. Well, overall, they're the team getting the better looks here in this second half. And I think what's happening is they're getting their shots within the flow of their offense, and you can clearly see the difference. Here's Hayes. Colin passes to Daniels. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Still looking for his first triple of the half. He had three at the break. Driving inside. You know, didn't need two hands for that slam. One will do just fine. You're right. He can save the other hand for the next time. <laughs> McCollum kicks to Temple. And here's McCollum. Last season, of course, Marcus Smart won the Defensive Player of the Year. You know, Greg, it, it's rare to see a guard win it. Should perimeter players get more consideration from this point on? Uh, it's tough 
Kev, I, I do think they should. And I think the, the numbers, though, tend to favor the rim protectors, but it's only right to recognize great defense at every position, especially in an age of positionless basketball. There's the pass to Hernan Gomez. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Here's Mann for the three. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Hernan Gomez has got rebound number five here tonight. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. The Thunder have gone seven of nine from the field down the stretch here in the fourth quarter. Terrific shooting. Robinson Earl, no good. And if that's the best look you can get on a possession, what a waste of a trip down the floor. Well, missed opportunities, and they can certainly add up. You cannot afford to take that kind of shot. Oklahoma City has gone 6 of 11 when they've taken the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. Man can hit. New Orleans gone over 3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. And there's the drive. Here's Daniels out to the wing. Puts up a three. Hayes, no good. That's not his spot, but given the lack of defense, you'd like to see him knock that one down. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. Balance player of the game, Shea Gilgis Alexander. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. And this is exactly what a star player is supposed to do. Coming off a loss, he made sure they weren't going to make it two in a row. So here is Oklahoma City. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Now for New Orleans, shooting 49% on the game. They'll take that. Here's McCollum. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Robinson Earl's got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Over McCollum, 
Robinson Earl. Robinson Earl's got 10 points in just the second half. And so it's McCollum with it. He brings it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. Nance with no one around. And again, no good by New Orleans. On offense, here are the Thunder. They're on an 18 to 6 run. Otters can't get it to go. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you can see the frustration on his face. Here's Daniels. That shot is in, just like six others have been for him. He's shooting seven for 15. Well, you get exactly what you want right there. Clean look, right at the cup, nicely done. Time call here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. And sometimes from the outside, not always clear what led a coach to call for a timeout. And as you know, it's what comes after that gives you some sense of what has changed. Here's Mann. He is guarded by McCollum. The offensive rebound. Passes it to Robinson Earl. Goes back up. Oklahoma City. And the Pelicans making a cheers. Alvarado's checked in. Coming on to the floor for your Pelicans. Jose Alvarado. New Orleans moving the ball around. Hernan Gomez a screen. Alvarado passes to Hernan Gomez. Misses the lane. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. The Thunder with another miss. The second chance effort. Sars shot is off. Well for New Orleans, shooting at 48% from the floor. Looking good. To the inside. And finished off by Hernan Gomez. And this is what the coaches want to see more of from Willie. Attacking the rim with big-time attitude. Here's Mann. That shot missing. And New Orleans will go the other way with it. Well, it hasn't been the most efficient game for this guy. But their team is fortunate to still be out in front. They recover it. Good work there as it goes. Oklahoma City has gone 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark. Shooting the three ball well. And it's the Pelicans ball. Pass to Alvarado. And here is Hernan Gomez. And finish off by Hernan Gomez. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. 
Here's Wiggins. The 18-footer is right on the mark. I'm not sure what he was thinking exactly, but he finds a way to convert. Pass to Daniels. Over Wiggins. Daniels, no good. I'll tell you, a rough quarter for him, and that puts so much pressure on the guys around him. Waters. Nance gets the rebound. Pelican shooting in this fourth quarter, pretty dire at 27%. They get the rebound. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. Here's Wiggins. And that one hits back iron. Wiggins against Richardson. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Well, we call that putting pressure on the defense and forcing the official to make the call. Nicely done, Josh Richardson. At the line for New Orleans, Josh Richardson. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. And Richardson drops them both. And here's Sharich. He'll bring it up for Oklahoma City. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Here's New Orleans. They're on a 12-4 run right now. Murphy on top, covered by Wiggins. And then Murphy with the dunk. Oh, damn it, not a petty, not a manny, but a face. Oh, a bounce to the ounce, Greg? Yeah, showing off the bunnies. Pulls it from 20. The shot by Sharch, no good. Pelican shooting at 48% from the floor, looking good. The pass to Murphy. Here's Alvarado. Richardson outside. Off target from three-point range. Oklahoma City's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. They get it back. Here's Joe. Can't hit that one. And New Orleans will go the other way with it. Here's Alvarado. Passes it to Murphy. But Trey gets the three-pointer to fall. And they have been relentless from deep and you see the defense trying to react but to no avail well that's the whole point isn't it if you space the floor well enough it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone Alvarado passes to Murphy some nice passing here by New Orleans not loose here's Marshall Plays it up off the glass. Well, easy money, right? I like the strategy. Go inside, get a high percentage look. Here's Joe. Pulls up. The shot by Sharch. No good. Richardson attacking. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for New Orleans, Josh Richardson. Two shots. And the first one drops. Oh. 
both good from the line that time. A minute 42 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Joe. The Thunder with another miss. They've put up quite a few unanswered points. Yeah, and you know, clearly they, they have hit on something that is working for this team. Pass to Alvarado. Drills it from outside. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Thunder. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. Can you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game? Yeah, there was a sense of that in, in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And so check it out, their record tonight. That'll mark win number 32 overall. And really, after losing all three games to this point in the matchup, guys, they have to be happy to get a win here. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Shea Gilgis Alexander. This guy putting on a passing clinic. If you want to know how to run an offense, roll back the tape from this evening. Oklahoma City's gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. Timeout. Six of 13. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. They're ahead by 21. There's 47 seconds left in the game. Change here. And checked in. There's 45 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Going for that shot in that situation is something that isn't going to help the offense. And in a way, by taking that one, he's bailing out the defense. It's just too easy to stop. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Joe can't get it to go. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Richardson dishes to Marshall, kicks it to Murphy. Let's it go from deep. Good on the three-point shot. Heavy incoming from beyond the arc. A key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. It feels like they have worked their perimeter game to perfection. Swinging the ball, cashing in from the outside. What a performance. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And that'll wrap it up, folks. 
For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. So long. <laughs>